Whether it's before, during, or after, immediate response technologies saves lives. Hello, I'd like to introduce the FlexAir Powered Air Purifying Respirator System manufactured by Immediate Response Technologies. This product was designed to provide enhanced respiratory protection against particulates, organic vapors, acid gases, formaldehyde, and ammonia for applications such as healthcare, pharmaceuticals, and waste removal. The product is comprised of three primary components, the blower system, the breathing tube assembly, and the loose-fitting headpiece. The basic operation of the FlexAir system is to take ambient air, draw that through either filters or cartridges to provide purified air that is then distributed through the breathing tube assembly and into the user face piece. The benefits of the FlexAir system is that it provides relief and reduces the physical stress of what you typically have to do when breathing through a standard N95 mask. In addition, by the blower system blowing this purified air into the face piece, there's a cooling effect as the air moves across the crown of your head down across the, the front of your face. This cooling effect provides additional comfort for the user. The primary benefit of the FlexAir system is that it reduces the ability for infiltration of contaminants by providing a powered uh, pressurized air into the face piece as well as the combination with the loose fitting visor that is universal fitting that you're able to draw that down across the, uh, across the contours of your face. The FlexAir Powered Air Purifying Respirator System includes features such as alarm capabilities where it provides low level battery indication as well as loss of airflow. These alarms are critical to notify the user when these events occur so that they have ample time to evacuate the contaminated area. The FlexAir system also includes a built-in lithium-ion battery providing up to eight hours of operation between charging cycles and also includes a battery charger that provides indication to the user when the charging cycle is complete. The unit is very lightweight and compact, weighing just less than two pounds with the particulate filters installed and just under four pounds with the cartridges installed. The unit measures just under three inches by four inches by five inches, so it's a very compact device. Now I will show you how to don the FlexAir Powered Air Purifying Respirator System. The FlexAir Powered Air Purifying Respirator System, as I mentioned before, is comprised of three primary components. The FlexAir blower, the breathing tube assembly, and the loose fitting headpiece. What I'd like to do is show you how to don the FlexAir uh, Powered Air Purifying Respirator System. The first step is to take the blower system and go through a full charging cycle. This is done by taking the charger and plugging that into the FlexAir blower and then connecting this to the appropriate power source. After a four to six hour charging cycle, the user will be notified by an indication on the charger that the charging cycle is complete. Upon completion, the user will then disconnect the power cable from the power source and disconnect the charger from the blower system. At this point, the FlexAir system is fully charged and the user can then confirm operation of the blower by taking the airflow indicator that's supplied with the system, inserting it into the blower discharge, and turning the unit on, ensuring that the two ports are installed on the blower system. Upon energizing, the user will then confirm that the float in the airflow indicator will rise above its indication marking to confirm proper operation. Once this is confirmed, the user will then remove the airflow indicator and is ready to install either the particulate filters or the cartridges based upon their particular application. The user will remove the plugs, ensuring that the gasket sill is installed, taking their particulate filter they will thread that in place, making sure that it is snug and not over tightening. This step will be repeated on the opposite side, removing the plug, ensuring the gasket seal, and taking the filter and threading in place. 
The user will then take the airflow indicator again, place it on the discharge, turn the blower system on, and confirm that the float again rises above the preset level to indicate proper operation of the blower and filter combination. The user will then remove the airflow indicator and now install the breathing tube assembly. It's important again to verify that the gasket on the breathing tube assembly is in place. They will take the threaded portion, not the disconnect, but the threaded portion and install that on the discharge of the blower. Again, threading in place until you have a snug fit, not too tight. We'll take the blower assembly by the waist belt that's installed and wrap it around the waist and securing it with the belt matching system. In order to remove it, you simply depress these two tabs to remove and to install, you simply push in place. Once it's installed, the user can then tighten using these two straps to get a proper fit and install the blower system as such. The next step is for the user to install their loose fitting headpiece. We offer a loose fitting visor that provides facial protection and respiratory protection. But for those applications where the user is looking for additional splash protection, we also offer a hood with cape that is provided with an outer cape and an inner cape for splash protection. In order to don the universal hood system, you simply take the breathing tube assembly and simply insert until you hear a click. At this point, the hood is connected and you have a 360 degree connection which will prevent the hose assembly from binding during movement. The loose fitting visor has three adjustments. An adjustment for the chin strap, there's an adjustment for the crown of your head, and also an adjustment for the forehead. In order to install it, you simply take the loose fitting visor Insert into your chin, pull it up and over so that the strap is across your crown and your forehead is pressed along the forehead strap, ensuring that the chin seal goes in front of the ears, which is one of the benefits for the loose fitting visor that it allows the user to use medical equipment such as stethoscopes and other equipment where they want their ears exposed. The face shield also has perforations to enhance communications so that you're not limited in that respect. Once you're connected here, you simply turn the unit on by depressing the blower button. You'll hear an indication that the unit is getting ready to operate. And it will begin providing purified air across the crown of your head, again providing a cooling effect by the air movement, but also pressurizing the face piece which again enhances the protection by not allowing infiltration of contaminants to enter this space. Once the unit's operating, the user will then draw the chin strap tight and reposition until a minimal amount of air escapes along the ears. Once this is completed, the user is ready to start their operations.